And welcome to your Go Market Update charts for the day for today. It's the 29th of June 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Market. So, yeah, lead you in around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight there was a mixed and choppy session on Wall Street as the Fed chairman reiterated his willingness if inflation remains high. Uh, we have got some important data which may play into that narrative a little bit uh, tomorrow in the year-on-year -year PCE data is one of the Fed's favourite measures. US futures are positive in the Asian session. Asian markets are generally higher in early trading. ASX is up around 0.2%. European futures are pointed to a mildly positive open. The VIX continues to trade at over three-year lows. US dollar index was higher overnight but is near neutral in Asia against most currencies, slightly up against the yen and the euro. Commodities remain weak overall despite the USD, but they are mildly positive in Asia. Gold is near support, but it's holding 1920. Copper dropped again for the six days of losses, but seems to be holding 375 today and all bounced off support again. Bitcoin is trading in a tight range between 30 and 31,000. And on the data front, Australian retail sales were slightly higher than expected. We have the US Fed chairman speaking at a conference in Spain this afternoon, but unlikely to move markets, one would suggest. Got Eurozone Consumer Confidence German CPI also out. This evening, we've got US weekly jobs, the Q and QPCE, the final GDP number, which isn't usually a massive market mover compared to the preliminary and advanced numbers. And we've got housing data also due. In terms of charts of interest today, let's have a look. In the FX world, we are looking at the Euro Aussie dollar. You can see there we've got what looks a little bit like a head and shoulders type of pattern on this pair on the hourly chart. 164.72 appears to be critical. We tested it a couple of times yesterday and in early Asian trading today. But you can see there it's just sitting above this level in the short term. If we do get a breach of that, it could see us down to test 164 in the first instance. But as the overall pair is in uptrend, we wouldn't expect a major sell-off in this at this stage. On the ASX, uh, we quite like to see resources. We see this bouncing off support at around about 85 cents, uh, looking to move back towards the dollar. And you can see that strong move over the last couple of days. So we see a move from 90 up to uh, $1. Uh, which is a nice return on investment in the short term. After that, it gets a little choppy around this $1 area. We think it might require a little bit more momentum to push it through that level. But you can see where we've come from early part of the year. So there's plenty of upside potential in this uh, for those who might be looking to hold it medium term. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.